What's up everybody, Brian here. Thank you for joining me today in the Gecko Lab. In today's video, I'm gonna show you two cool things. First up, a new cage I built, and second, some brand new geckos. So first off, I wanna talk about my new cage. I am so, so pleased with how this one turned out. I think it turned out incredible. This was my dinosaur fossil themed cage that I showed you guys some of the supplies I bought for a while back. And man, it looks so cool. So I'm gonna go through kind of the steps on how I put this together so you guys can see. At the bottom here, I do have a drainage layer. It's a, the clay balls with a screen over the top and that just gives a drainage layer for your water to drain down into if you overwater your cage. It's important, I know I've had a lot of people questioning why I didn't do that for some of my other cages like this one. And then simply because they don't have enough vertical space below the door area. So. It, you can not have a drainage layer, but you have to be really careful with how much you water it. This one, a bigger cage, I did do the traditional drainage layer. On top of that, just the normal bio bedding that I use, sphagnum moss on top of that. Now let's talk about some of the stuff I put in it. Every plant in this cage is live. There are no artificial plants in here. I've got two spider plants, a pothos, a really cool, just the way it turned out. I love it. I've got this giant cork round. It's like a about that big around this big cork round in the back here and I actually built that into my custom background with the great stuff that is attached to the background and siliconed in and then the bottom of that cork round actually goes two inches into the soil at the bottom of the cage and then that whole cork round is filled with soil so it's like a tower a column of soil that goes up and one of my spider plants is planted in that cork round I thought that would be an awesome look and I love the way it turned out got a couple pieces of grapevine in there as well the pothos coming over the top of course the centerpiece is this giant tyrannosaurus skull that sticks out of the background that is also great stuffed into the back so it's attached to part of the background then I've got a raptor claw up here at the top part of that dinosaur theme i put my exoterra dinosaur egg hide there at the bottom i think that looks super cool i just love the way this turned out these bioactive tanks oh i forgot to mention the bridge i've got that uh if you remember from my supplies video the moss covered bridge it's a giant bridge about this long that's moss it's a uh it's metal, like the wires, kind of vines that I use in a lot of my cages. It's the same thing, except it's a bridge. And I thought that would make a great basking spot for these geckos, because the geckos that I got that are going in here need to bask. So I put that in, it kind of arches up over this plant at the bottom, over the eggs there, and then curves around down through the bottom, the spider plant behind it. I just think this cage turned out so, so well. I absolutely love it. It looks so cool. And these bioactive cages, are so helpful because their humidity levels are constant and high. They're great for high humidity animals. Um, the animals don't have to worry about their shedding issues because they have all this soil and moss they can burrow in. It's constantly wet. The, the live plants are growing and evolving. I've got springtails and isopods in here that will actually break down the animal's waste. So you don't have to really clean these all that much. You basically, if you've got a, a properly calibrated bioactive vivarium, you clean the glass and that's about it. The rest of it, you don't have to clean. It's a natural ecosystem in there. Nobody goes out and cleans the jungle. You don't need to clean this. It naturally takes care of itself. I'm super excited to see how this cage flourishes, watch these plants grow and fill out a little bit, and to see my new geckos settle in and flourish in this cage. Let me show you guys my new geckos. Here they are, my new geckos for this cage. I bought a pair of Madagascar giant day geckos. These are the big, this is what the Geico gecko is modeled after for those of you that don't know them. They are the biggest species of day gecko, Madagascar giant day geckos. They're large, they're bright green, they're beautiful, they're great display animals, and I just had to pick up a pair of them. Now you might notice on mine, unlike most giant day geckos you've seen, mine don't have any red color. A lot of them have all day geckos almost have that red splotches down their back and a lot of breeders specifically breed high red animals the most red pattern you can get well i went the other way and i searched for a long time to find a pair of patternless 
green day geckos with no red markings. I think they look super cool. And that was the pair I wanted. So I was able to find a pair together and I purchased them. I actually got these guys about a month ago and I've had them in a smaller temporary cage while I got this one finished, but this is gonna be their forever home. This is where these guys are living. I'm super excited about it. It is so cool. I'm excited to get them in there. Let me tell you a little bit about these before we transfer them into this cage. A couple interesting things. These guys obviously from Madagascar. They are one of the more common, seen as like an advanced, uh, a uh, intermediate advanced species, or one of the most common, more intermediate advanced species of geckos. You see in the pet trade a lot of them are wild caught these guys are captive bred but there's a ton of wild caught imports that come in so they're super common they're fairly easy to breed they're very popular they're absolutely beautiful they're one of the best display animals they're very fragile these guys are not to be handled they are not crested geckos you can't pick these guys up and play with them they do not like being handled before we get them in this cage Another fact to share with you, these guys, like I said, they've been a mated pair for a while now. I bought them as a pair. And while they were in their temporary tank while I was getting this one built, they actually laid me a couple eggs. Now, normally I wouldn't handle day gecko eggs, but these were actually stuck to the background in their last tank and they broke off when I was getting one of the geckos out. There was a, a, the background and a piece of cork bark and I couldn't see behind there. And when I pulled the cork bark out, they fell down. So I would have just left them stuck where they were if they were still stuck because these guys will glue their eggs to things. But since they weren't stuck, I very gently took them with us and I'm just gonna place them here in this cage for the female to keep an eye on them. She'll actually guard the eggs and uh, keep them safe. Again, they're so much different than crested geckos. The females will guard the eggs. They don't just abandon them like crested geckos do. They glue their eggs on things instead of burying them like crested geckos do. They're hard shell eggs, like a chicken egg you would get at the supermarket. They're hard shelled like that, not soft shelled like a uh, crested gecko egg is. Um, Super fascinating. I kind of had a hunch that maybe she had laid some eggs back there because the girl spent a lot of her time back there, which kind of tipped me off that maybe she's guarding eggs. And I'm going to move them into this tank and hopefully she'll keep guarding them. She doesn't have to incubate them or anything. They'll incubate either way, but it'll make her feel more comfortable if they're there. And hopefully they'll incubate out and they'll hatch in here and we'll get a couple young day geckos hatched out. I would really love some more little baby patternless green day geckos. So that's it guys, I'm super excited. I've been working on this cage for a while. I'm so happy it's finally done. It turned out so nice. I'm thrilled with it. And I'm excited to get these guys into their forever home so they can settle down and start living the good life. Let's go ahead and throw them in. There goes the female, and here's the larger male. The male is much more docile and calm than the female is. She is way more skittish. The male is much more relaxed and easygoing. How about that? Just a fantastic home for these guys. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you for joining me, checking out my new cage, my new geckos. I love it. I'm super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate it. As always, I am Brian with Altitude Exotics, altitudeexotics.com slash AE geckos on Facebook and Instagram. Follow, like, subscribe, new geckos for sale every Friday night. Don't forget, there's always more coming, so please keep an eye out. I love you guys. Be safe, be kind, and I will see you soon.